Ian and I have yet again managed to deliver a world's first by delivering a significant sideshow repair while not using divers. Experience breeds success. Ian and I have a five-year track record of carrying out over 280 diverless inspections and valve repairs and we install the world's first diverless impressed current cathodic protection system, Hullguard, in early 2020. Our leadership of joint industry programs such as HITS and Flowgas helped us to recognize the need for diverless and remote tank inspection services. This all fits with our strategy for EMI 2020 and beyond, which sets clear targets for supporting the oil, gas and renewable energy sector that use robotics and digitization to deliver safer, lower cost and reduced carbon footprint integrity solutions. The issue is exacerbated by the need to deliver better production uptime on floating production assets so that any large increase in the crew complement or POB from the addition of a diving spread is frowned upon. This has all resulted in a demand for a diverless steel repair solution and EMNI has developed a proven service that's delivered all of the expected benefits of safety, cost, time and operational efficiency. Once we are engaged by our client, planning begins with a thorough site survey carried out by a small team of experienced and professional technicians. The survey usually includes a laser scan of the damaged area of the hull from the inside in order that the curvature and structure in the area of the damage is carefully modelled. Our 3D modelling leads to the design of one or more cofferdams that are used to facilitate the steel repair. Coffer dams have been around for a long time, but our laser modelling now ensures an almost perfect model of the hull geometry. As the coffer dam is readied, work commences using the Odin system to penetrate the hull in carefully selected areas in order to pass locating cables through which are brought to the surface and attached to the coffer dam. The key installation steps usually include welding a stub pipe using the approved procedures, fitting a valve and the associated headworks, then pressure testing all of that, cutting the hole, retracting the coupon, finally removing the headworks and the coupon, then closing the valve, and then replacing the headworks with a completion plug tool. The cables are located in carefully designed and bespoke pressurized launch and recovery winch boxes. The cables are attached to the coffer dam, which is then lowered over the side of the vessel and guided to the hull. Once secured and the coffer dam has been emptied of water, the hydrostatic pressure will further secure the coffer dam in place. This creates a watertight seal which allows us to cut out the side shell and replace it to as built condition. Once the repairs are complete, the procedure is reversed. It is possible to work simultaneously on multiple sites to reduce the time we spend. One site is being repaired, while the second site is prepared, and so on. The entire process requires sound planning, exceptional engineering, a close relationship with the client's planning and operational teams, and exceptional standards of work on site. Ian and I is really proud, again, to have delivered yet another innovative solution in the oil and gas industry. Mm -hmm.